Waiting for the Light to Change, a poetic exploration of quarter-life crisis. Hey, wonderful friends. First things first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. In the midst of a soul-crushing pandemic that has left many young adults feeling lost and unfulfilled, the film Waiting for the Light to Change resonates deeply with the struggles of its Gen Z protagonists. Directed by Lynn Tran, this slow-burning debut feature takes us on a journey through the lives of five individuals who find themselves grappling with the challenges of their early to mid-twenties. Amy, Lynn, Jay, Kim and Alex, each battling their own demons, come together for a week-long getaway at a scenic Michigan lake house. As they navigate the difficulties of adulthood, mourning their childhood expectations, wrestling with career choices, and facing anxiety about the future, they find themselves trapped in a setting that mirrors their internal struggles. The cold and desolate Midwestern winter with its gloomy weather and lack of recreational opportunities, becomes a metaphor for their frozen dreams and wasted potential. One of the film's most striking elements is Tran's poetic use of setting to establish a somber tone and convey the character's emotional turmoil. Through pastel-coloured cinematography and a remarkably slow pace, she creates an atmosphere of isolation and longing. The Lake House, once a place of warmth and joy, now serves as a constant reminder of what they feel they are missing out on. The freezing waters and the off-season atmosphere symbolize their quarter-life crisis, a season of waiting for a brighter future that seems elusive. Trans direction adds to the authenticity of the film, with minimal camera movement and static shots that give the impression of a documentary-like experience. However, this shooting style also creates a sense of distance, both physically and emotionally. The lack of close-ups limits our ability to fully connect with the characters and understand their inner struggles. While this enhances the realism, it occasionally hinders our ability to form a deeper bond with the protagonists. Furthermore, the script intentionally leaves major details about the characters unsaid aiming to create a sense of universality. However, this approach often results in generic rather than relatable characters. We yearn for a stronger sense of individuality and a deeper understanding of what drives them beyond their shared quarter-life crisis. The characters, except for Amy, feel like Generation Z archetypes rather than fully fleshed out individuals Despite its narrative limitations, Waiting for the Light to Change succeeds in capturing the mood of a generation in existential peril. With its masterful use of tone and setting, the film bottles the feelings of angst and uncertainty that many young adults experience. Tran's achievement in capturing the spirit of her generation's struggles is commendable, even if the characters themselves feel distant and mysterious. In conclusion, Waiting for the Light to Change is a poetic exploration of the quarter-life crisis, skillfully depicting the challenges and anxieties faced by young adults. While the characters may lack individuality, the film's use of tone and setting creates a mood piece that resonates with the audience. Tran's debut feature serves as a testament to her ability to capture the essence of her generation making it a worthwhile watch for anyone navigating the complexities of early adulthood.